here we're going to put the derivative to work in a classic derivative problem. Uh, just read the directions here. It says, what is the equation of the line that is tangent to the given curve at the given point? Okay. The function here is y f at x equals half x squared plus 2x plus 3.5. And we're talking about a very specific point on the curve of negative 3 comma 2. Well, to just get a little further explanation of what this problem means before we get into the steps, the steps are very mechanical, it's very straightforward. You don't need a drawing to do it, but I want to show you a drawing of this so we do understand the concept behind it. Okay, I took a, ch uh, a moment to graph this function in Geometer Sketchpad. And you notice I have a point on it. The curve's made up of infinite points. There's many points on it, but I want to talk about a specific point of negative 3, comma 2. Okay? Now, what I'm asked to do is imagine that there's a tangent line there, and in fact, find the equation of that tangent line. Okay? It's a classic derivative problem, and the steps for doing so are very straightforward. Um, well, they are. Compute the derivative. Always going to be computing the derivative in problems like this. Number two, evaluate the derivative for the given value of x. This will tell us the slope at that point. Well, if we know the slope at that point and the point from there, it's very simple just to put our algebra skills to work from algebra one and use the point-slope formula to find the y equals mx plus b of the tangent line. Okay, so let's get right to work on this, and we will compute the derivative, which is f prime at x. I'll use the power rule, which says to take the exponent times the coefficient, which gives us 1. Subtract 1 from the exponent, so that's just going to give me x to the first. Then for the linear term, where we have the derivative of 2x, the simple rule for that is that it's going to just be the constant. And for the third term, which is a constant, the constant rule for derivatives says that that is going to give us 0. Okay, so we have a device now that will compute the slope if we know x values. Well, the good news is I do know an x value. I'm going to take this x value, like it says in step 2 here, and evaluate the derivative for the given value of x. So I've got f prime at x equals negative 3 plus 2, which is equal to negative 1. This is my m value, my m value for my y equals mx plus b. Okay? So from there, I just need to use the point slope formula, which is going to be y minus y1 equals m times the quantity x minus x1. And we see that we have an m value, and we have an x1, y1 value in that it was given to us, it is the point of tangency. So from here the problem is very straightforward. It says y minus y1 equals negative 1 times the quantity x minus negative 3. Okay, I'll take a second to clean up the double signs on the right. And then we will distribute our negative 1 and then we're just going to add 2. This is going to give us y equals negative x minus 1. This is the equation of the tangent line on this curve, f at x, at this point, negative 3 comma 2. If we go back to the drawing, this should make sense because we notice that the y-intercept, in fact, is negative 1, and this line does, in fact, have a slope of negative 1. So that is pretty much it. In a nutshell, it's a classic derivative problem. You'll be responsible for it on the test. Again, this problem revolves around, in broad strokes, finding the derivative to get the slope so that you can use the slope and the point to find the equation of the tangent line.